Company, makers of Frisky's Dog Food, proudly present the dog food with all the goodness of prime grade meat. Oh, yes. Frisky's is really worth sitting up for. Have your dog love Frisky's, too, by getting in on the special offer. Send Gracie and me six Frisky labels, and we'll send you a coupon worth 50 cents on your next purchase. Just mail six Frisky's labels with your name and address to George and Gracie, Television City, Hollywood. George and Gracie, Television City, Hollywood. Take advantage of this special Frisky's offer now. Frisky's has plenty of horse meat, plus all the other nutrients necessary to nourish your dog completely. What's more, your dog will love Frisky's taste. Mine sure does. Make sure that your dog gets Frisky's, the complete dog food. Okay, lunch is over. Now back to work. Ah. Hiya, Mr. Flintstone. Greetings, Rocky, my boy. Pack of Winston's, please. Ah, oh, you like them Winston cigarettes, huh, Mr. Flintstone? Mm, but, uh, of course, they really got something. You bet your life. Folks who really enjoy smoking know it's what's up front that counts. And that's where Winston steps out ahead of the crowd with their exclusive filter blend. Choice golden tobaccos, specially selected and specially processed for filter smoking. Hold it, hold it. You know what you mean? What are you pitching Winston's at me for? You know I never smoke nothing else. Just practicing, Mr. Flintstone. Everybody knows that... Winston tastes good, like a cigarette should. Yeah. You know, if you were to follow a busy doctor as he makes his daily round of calls, you'd find yourself having a mighty busy time keeping up with him. Time out for many men of medicine usually means just long enough to enjoy a cigarette. And because they know what a pleasure it is to smoke a mild, good-tasting cigarette, they're particular about the brand they choose. In a repeated national survey, doctors in all branches of medicine, doctors in all parts of the country were asked, what cigarette do you smoke, doctor? Once again, the brand named most was Camel. Yes, according to this repeated nationwide survey, more doctors smoke Camels than any other cigarette. Things that are older than Grandma Shelley, well, that's, that's something. Let's see, World War II is older than Grandma Shelley. World War I is older than Grandma Shelley. Grandma Dorothy is older than Grandma Shelley. Things that are older than Grandma. James Bond novels, Budweiser, um, the Seattle Fire. BCMH is older than Grandma Shelley. Uh, uh, something else that's older than Grandma Shelley is the wheel. Grandma, tell me about what it was like when my mom was born. Oh, everybody was happy because we had a little girl. Pretty little girl. <laughs> was it different having a girl than having boys? Yes, it was. What made it different? Well, you should know that. <laughs> you had a girl after two boys. Okay, what made it different? Of course, girls. What was Pretty my dressed. mom like as a baby? She, she was good. She was always a very good baby and a good child. She was well behaved. Really, I, she, Shelly was Rochelle was always and really I would say excellent. There was never any problems. Always listened, behaved. Did she sleep through the night when she was an infant? She was a good baby. Yes, yeah, she was really a good baby. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You know. Accidentally, a hero who sneezed abruptly seized retreat and reversed it to victory. His 
Medal of Honor, pleased and thrilled his proud little family group. While pinning it on, some blood was spilled, and so it was planned he'd command. Tell me what I might find. Robert Petrie. Don't do that. Taylor. Sheriff Taylor of Mayberry. No, I, I don't have an appointment, but I'd appreciate if you'd tell him I'm here. You know, I tried to tell Charlie that the train was away from the big diamonds, but he's so old-fashioned. And, of course, he can afford to be. Oh, Taylor, sorry. the extra room, though. How about something in early American? Well, the point is, children, there is a Santa Claus. Isn't there? Of course there is. I hope he brings me a new Marie Antoinette doll for my guillotine. <laughs> oh. Was always came home when you told her to come home. She, if she had a uh, time, she always was came home on time or before. I say because she was she she really was a good child, listened, well behaved. One day there was um, an Encias. No, it was a Bene Encias wife. There was a Bene uh meeting, and it was at my friend's, the Hellman's, and. Um, Time went by, and she was supposed to come home, and she didn't come home. And um, we knew where where the meeting was, so we called. And um, the meeting ran a little later, but she forgot to call, which was uh, she was young. And uh, anyway, but we, but she didn't get punished because we talked to her, and one of the NC, uh, one is the Bene Kiva guys, who we knew. Uh, walked her home because they were a few blocks from us and that that was the only time that I remember anything like that happened can you imagine a whole lifetime before she got married before you know before she went to Stern what about the time she transferred herself to public school <laughs> that's because her brother which she didn't <laughs> tell me that her brother insisted that she should try it and when she asked me I said you know what Maybe you should do that and see what it's like on the outside world. Because Beverly High at that time was not the greatest. It was a great academic school, but there were lots of problems at that time with many, many things that the kids were selling that was illegal. And I know that she wouldn't take anything like that, but it would. she was never exposed to those things. And, and also Beverly High... When she went there, this, oh, this is a funny one. I'll tell you what she did. Okay. Remember, she, she was in B'nai Kiva, which is pro-Israel. Everything is Israel. So when she went um, and had a, um, a briefing with the counselor before they gave her her classes, she said that she wants to build. And she, so they thought, she, they thought she wanted to be an engineer, which meant they put her in a top math class which mostly were boys and not girls. Well, she wanted to build Israel is what she was talking about, but she didn't say Israel. So they assumed incorrectly. So when she came home and told me, I said, oh my God, math. You know, you, you beat high math. What are you talking about? She said, oh, I didn't know that. And I said, go right back there and tell them that you're going to switch out to another class. She went there and they said, uh, I'm sorry, but 
you can't. I mean, it's past, you know, this is public school. It's not like going to yeshiva. <laughs> so, <laughs> so therefore, since she was in high math, because it was an engine, pro engine, pre-engineering class and most of the boys were in there, I had to hire somebody who was very, very bright and good math student, a young man who was, not, who was a friend of her brother's, to teach her the math and help her with the math, which was a difficult subject. That's funny. And so after that, he, he comes to me, and I paid him, of course, and he comes to me and says, Mrs. Korchak, I have a sister who also doesn't, you know, like math that particularly, and the best thing for them is when they when they grow up to get married and have babies. I said, "Wow, what led you to that opinion, you young man? I hired you to teach her math, not to express any opinions." And does your sister know you feel like that? Not really. And I said, "How would it be if I t told your sister what you think or your mother?" No, I won't do that. But please. You're here to, te to help her with math, not to have your opinions about women. And some women want to be engineers, believe it or not. And that's what I told this young man. Wow. So, of course, he became an attorney. I knew him later on in life. <laughs> but that was a story. That's great. Your, your mom will remember that story. birthday while we're here in Hawaii actually you can see I'm sitting in my office right now but I had to video this at some point anyway when I first met you you were a little uh, dark haired 17 and a half year old in army pants and a t-shirt and uh, now you're a redhead in uh, much nicer clothing so I think we've done fairly well together produced four beautiful kids and so far five grandsons and five granddaughters so we've had a pretty good run so I want to wish you a happy 60th because the next time I'm going to do this as a major event is going to be on your 70th so you're going to be waiting a while and just to tell you and you know this and it's going to be seen by multiple people so I've got to be careful what I say so we'll just say I love you I love you I love you and that's all I need to say and I am not going to sing to you on this video. I know you wanted me to sing that song that you love, but I'm not going to do it. The only thing I will sing to you is the song th that we got engaged to, Feelings, nothing more than... Oh, you don't like that one. Okay. Um, anyway, it's either that or the song from Don Weldon Del Marco, which I don't think would be appropriate for the kids to see, or the latest one, which Ari's going to play anyway as part of this video. So just pretend that instead of Ed Sheeran singing, and Beyonce singing the second part that it's me and you, okay? So you'll have to do with that. Anyway, I love you, bye. Happy 60th birthday, mom. Um, when dad told me about this idea to do a birthday video for you i was thinking how do you say thank you to a mom that i've been lucky enough to have for 38 years you are fiercely protective of us you raised each of us to be different and special and proud and 
I mean, we all love you so much and want to live near you, <clears throat> Melinda. And we're all just so lucky to have gotten you as our mom. Hold on, let me turn off the radio. And I just want to say thank you for everything. Just everything, everything, everything. The, the, the truth in it is that the fact that my kids want to be at your house all the time and they always want to be around you and that we want to hang out with you on weeknights and on Shabbos afternoon and whenever we can says something really special about our relationship with our mom. And again, I just want to say happy birthday to an amazing, supportive, strong, bright, wonderful mom that we were all lucky enough to get. I mean, granted, you raised um, emotionally unavailable, unattached, non-huggy, non-sappy children. And I don't know how you managed to do that, so dad's going to get blamed for that part. But... On the other hand, you raised four completely different and wonderful, awesome kids. And I'm so happy to be a part of the family that I was lucky enough to get. Thank you, Mom. Happy birthday. The bluest skies you've ever seen are in Seattle. And the hills, the greenest green. Like a beautiful child growing up free and wild, full of hopes and full of fears, full of laughter, full of tears, full of dreams to last the years in Seattle, in Seattle. When it's time to leave your home and your loved one. It's the hardest thing a boy can ever do And you pray that you will find Someone warm and sweet and kind But you're not sure what's waiting there for you The bluest skies you've ever seen are in Seattle And the hills the greenest green in Seattle like a beautiful child growing up free and wild Full of hopes and full of fears Full of laughter, full of tears Full of dreams to last the years In Seattle, in Seattle When you find your own true love, you will know it By her smile, by the look in her eye Scent of pine trees in the air Never knew a day so fair It makes you feel so proud that you could cry The bluest sky you've ever seen are in Seattle and the hills, the greenest green in Seattle Like a beautiful child growing up free and wild Full of hopes and full of fears Full of laughter, full of tears Full of dreams to last the years in Seattle yes. Happy birthday, Grandma Shelley. I know you've been called a lot of things over the years. But definitely the most fitting one is best mother-in-law. Uh, you are amazing. You're an amazing grandmother to my children. You are amazing to me. You're always there for us. So in honor of your birthday, I say we celebrate. Lachayim. Light him up if you got him. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy 60th birthday. You're 60 and you have more energy than Francine, Jessica, Melinda, and Joshua, all the kids combined. Just wanted to point that out. It's insane and I have no idea and people comment to me all the time, how does your mom have so much energy? They're not like, oh, how do you, nope. How does your mom, who is 60, 
have so much energy, it's because you're amazing and also a little crazy. Crazy awesome. Happy birthday. When I was sorting through pictures uh, for your birthday, what I noticed was how many awesome things and really fun things you did with us. You went fishing and camping and you got up there on the mountain and skied with us and you went boating with us and you came to visit us at summer camp on visiting day 3,000 miles away and you came to visit us wherever we were in the world and uh, you were just always on the move. So I should not be surprised that even now you're always on the move. You deserve all the vacations that you're taking. Um, I just wanted to say happy birthday. You may not remember this, but I remember the first conversation we had. I was hanging out at Jessica's apartment. We weren't even dating then. I'm not going to discuss what I was doing there, but anywho, I was there hanging out and she was talking to some guy on one line or something and the phone rings and she answered it to talk to you. And she said to me, oh, wait a second, you're from California, your family's from California, my mom's from California, you guys should talk for a few minutes. So she handed me the phone and you and I proceeded to have a discussion, or more you than me, proceeded to have a discussion for about an hour and a half about everybody that we knew in common in California. And I don't think I've ever done that with anybody before, then, or since, where I could have an hour and a half conversation with a total stranger. But that's you. You're friendly to everybody, even people you don't know. And that was the beginning of our friendship, where my wife now says that I spend more time on the phone with you than with her <laughs> or talking to her in person or anything else. And I really value that. I really appreciate that time. And thank you so much for all you do for me, for my wife, for our kids, for being family, for being the awesome person that you are. We love you so, so much. Many, many more happy birthdays past 120. We love you so much. First off, we have to say happy birthday. Happy to birthday, Grandma Shelly. Yes, Grandma Shelly. And there. really, this is for you, Mom, not for Grandma Shelly. This is for Mommy Shelly, right? Yeah, it's for Grandma Shelly, too. Fair I mean, enough. I don't really call her Mommy Shelly, but I love calling her <laughs> Grandma Shelly. You love calling her Shelly because I you do. don't actually call her Mom. No. But I will say this. You raised four wonderful daughters, <laughs> and they all wish you a happy birthday. We do. We love you so much, especially your daughter, Josh. He is definitely your favorite. And we all know that, and that's okay. But we love you so much, and we love how much you love us and how much you've always given to us. And thank you for always coming to visit us in New York because it's my, the kids love it so much, and we love it so much. And as Dad wanted to point out, we also love that when you come, you buy us things just like the kids said. <laughs> and I'm very curious if you're a robot because I don't know of any other grandmas that operate the way you do. Do you sleep? I don't think she sleeps, and she doesn't drink either. No, it's kind of weird. Which I don't understand, because how could you raise four kids in so few years and not drink? And not even drink coffee. Mom, you're amazing. These four kids know us. Yes, true. You're amazing. Thank you for putting up with Miranda all these years. Hello, Mother. You're 60. Uh, I really am I'm, I'm a loss <laughs> for words, because I thought I could say a lot of funny things and make fun of you but uh, deep down it doesn't feel right. So my gift for your 60th birthday is to uh, express the fact that I, I have a filter <laughs> and uh, I, I continue to uh, refine it and use it. But uh, yeah, I really want to say a lot of weird shit right now and I'm really holding back. So happy birthday uh, and may you live to 120 means, means you're halfway there. Uh, so if your first half was good, well, enjoy the next half. Now, I love you, uh, and your little prince has to go to sleep now. Happy birthday. Yeah, that was cheesy, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, Shelly Mom. I just want to say I'm sorry I look like garbage right now, probably because we've been dealing with the flu here and because I haven't been sleeping for days probably because you've been out of town and you are always so amazing and ready to help us whenever you possibly can and you always put yourself second behind your family and I absolutely love that I respect that and I would love to model myself after you thank you so much for making me a part of your family and know that we love you happy birthday I found a love 
for me well, Darling, just dive right in and Follow my lead well, I found a girl Beautiful and sweet well, I never knew you were the someone Waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time well, Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is over Grandma. No. Grandma. I was born. You made her a mom. She made yeah, her a grandma. I made you a mom. I'm the granddaughter and great granddaughter. One is that I like her because she's my grandma Shelly. Two is because she's the only one that I enjoy going shoe shopping with. I also only like going getting haircuts with her. And um I like her hats. So. Then there's her like kindness and mushy stuff and yeah enjoy your birthday and make sure that you don't take care of from uh, our house or do take care of your choice please take care yeah. something special what grandma Shelly does for me is when i used to be gluten free she used to make gluten free food for me she makes amazing call for everybody which i guess is special she is special she is a special person. You can't take us to Seahawks games like all the time during the season. Yeah. Uh huh. What's your favorite thing about hanging out with Grandma Shelly? Uh, she's funny and usually makes good food. What's your favorite Grandma Shelly recipe? Um, I would say probably her uh, cabbage porsche. Yeah. I mean, one of the great things about Grandma Shelly is that she's one of the greatest things since sliced bread. In what way does Grandma make me feel special? Well, she takes me to football games, even though I'm not a Seahawks fan, I still like going to football games. She buys me shoes. She sent me a lot of stuff at camp, to camp. Yeah. What I love about Grandma Shelly she buys us lots of stuff. She's very nice. She always lets me use her camera and take pictures with it at events like Jonah's baseball games or Shulam. Um, what else? Um, What's your favorite thing about Grandma Shelley? What's your favorite thing you do with Grandma Shelley? Okay, anything else you want to say, Grandma Shelly? Grandma, I love you and happy birthday. I like to wish my Grandma, grandma Shelly a happy 60th birthday. And I love when she comes over from Seattle to New York to visit me. Grandma Shelly is the best grandma because she buys me the best costumes for Parham. Happy 60th birthday. I really like that every time we see each other, you buy us presents. Because she's my favorite grandma, and every time I come to her house, she has my favorite ice creams. I like to play with her and snuggle with her and read books with her. Aww. How old she is? Um, 31. Yes, you are exactly 
Right. Say happy 31st birthday, Grandma Shelly. Happy 31st birthday, Grandma. What if I told you she was 60? That would be weird. Ronan, where are we going? Where are we going? Are you running to Grandma's house? Can you say happy birthday, Grandma? Happy birthday, Grandma. Hey, happy birthday, Grandma. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. I think that was baby for happy birthday, Grandma. We would like to wish Grandma Shelly, as he licks himself now. <laughs> See, that's very appropriate. Hey, Louie. Hey, Louie. No more licking yourself. He's thinking of Grandma Shelly and he's licking himself. No! Wishing her he a just happy, to wish her. happy 60th birthday, right? Are we going to wish Grandma Shelly a happy 60th birthday? And you know, he left her a present. Lots of hair on her bed. <sighs> happy birthday, Grandma. The dogs want to wish you a happy birthday. Uh, have fun. I guess you're going to Hawaii, so have fun. That's a great place to have your birthday celebration. And um, are you going to take Kira with you? It's her birthday. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funny. Happy birthday, Mom. I love you. Thank you for being the best mom in the entire world. I feel so lucky that I got to have you as my mom when I was a kid. And I feel extremely lucky that I get to have you as my mom now as a married adult with kids and to have you nearby. I love you so much and I appreciate everything you do. You're at Sudeikis and nobody will really ever know how much you do and how much you accomplish. Uh, even I won't really know because <laughs> it's uh, you do a lot. But I love you and thank you for everything that you do for me and my kids. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Many, many more healthy birthdays and have fun on your vacation. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandma. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Play ball. Happy birthday, Grandma. Happy birthday, Grandma Shelly. Love you. Happy birthday, Grandma. Happy birthday, Grandma. Happy birthday, Grandma Shelly. Working on this video for a week and a half. Nobody gets me anything on time. Oh, the hours of my life spent on it. And now Larry keeps coming into my office with suggestions. We really, really love you to put this much effort into the video. We just want you to know that. Have a happy birthday and have fun in Hawaii. I'm going to go get some sleep now.